I beat him. Everybody out there know I beat him. I beat him. I controlled the fight. He was missing. I hit him clean more times. I beat him. Let me let y'all know. I want to thank the whole hood who came out here. I love y'all. I did this for the hood. Y'all know I beat that boy. Y'all know I beat that boy. They Hey there guys, Nordic Warrior here, back with a video. So, let's talk about the events of boxing this past weekend. We had Gary Russell Jr. losing his title to Maya Gasser in a, a minor upset. It wasn't a, a shocking upset or anything like that. We all knew that Gary Russell Jr. was... We, we all kind of knew that his time as champion was potentially coming to an end. I mean, the guy's been inactive. He's had a lot of issues outside of the ring with injuries and whatnot. He struggled to make weight for the fight, and there was just a air of uncertainty about this fight. And I think that even though most people, including myself, felt that he was most likely going to win the fight by a close decision, it wasn't really a shock that he ended up losing. You know, it wasn't like a massive shocking upset or anything like that. But I wanted to talk about it. Now, I was on a live stream last night. I was on one of Thunderdome's live stream, and there was a few of us there. There was Del Boy, there was... Uh, Jed Kyle and a few other people who were, were dropping in and out and I basically came off the live stream about an hour or so before the fight but basically what we were talking about on that live stream we, we talked about a few things but one of the main topics of discussion was of course Gary Russell Jr and basically his legacy and his place in boxing history and how his career panned out and we were basically all in agreement that Gary Russell Jr has to be considered one of the biggest waste of talents in boxing. Now, of course, anybody who followed his amateur career will know that he was a stellar amateur. Okay, the guy was one of the most highly touted American amateur prospects out there. And in the early days of his pro career, he had a lot of hype. I remember back in the back in the early stages of his career, a lot of people felt that Gary Russell could potentially be a pound for pound star one day. And it's easy to see why. I mean, the guy had a lot of talent. He had some of the fastest hands pound for pound in boxing. You know, he was a very explosive, very quick fighter, had a lot of talent. He, he was a very good fighter, he was. And he had a lot of physical talents that were so obvious to see early on. But the problem with Gary Russell, and the reason why he is, in my opinion, going to go down as a complete waste of talent, is the fact that he was never really able to realise his potential due to the way he was managed. And this stands as a prime example of why you shouldn't mollycoddle and protect a fighter. So as, as you guys know, in the early stages of Gary Russell's career, he was able to amass a record of 24-0. and And he was able to do so at a very low level, right? He was fighting nothing but hand-picked opposition. Um, they turned down numerous developmental fights, numerous domestic matchups. And there were a lot of opportunities that he had to step up which he didn't take so they amassed a, a good looking record on paper and then of course when it did when it did come time to fight for a world title he got absolutely embarrassed and of course the opponent to do it was Lomachenko obviously going into the fight you could you could see if you put yourself in their shoes it seemed like a great fight to take because Lomachenko was of course very inexperienced as a pro he was a stellar amateur himself but as a pro, he'd only had two fights, and he lost one of them. So, on paper, you could see why, say, a box rec manager who was looking after Gary Russell and his interests, you could see why they would have thought that Gary Russell, fighting in America on a Golden Boy card without Heyman running the show and all that, you, you, would, you could see why they thought that it was a sure thing that they were going to beat Lomachenko. But, of course, that's not what happened, and the lack of experience against world-class competition... And just the fact that Gary Russell wasn't battle-hardened at all led to him getting an absolute pasting off of Lomachenko. He got a hiding. He got beaten from pillar to post. And in my opinion, he was never able to really handle it mentally. And that's, that's one thing that we were talking about on the live stream was Gary Russell's demeanor after that fight changed. Like, he, he was never very confident anymore. And if anything, it seemed as if he was somewhat delusional. You know, he would come out with comments like, I would beat Lomachenko 
nine times out of ten and just ridiculous comments like that. And it just came across as forced and didn't come across as genuine at all. Like, nothing that Gary Russell came out with was genuine, in my opinion. And you saw what happened to his career as a result of it. He went on to become world champion, but you wouldn't know it. Because <laughs> there, was, there was no hype about him anymore. He went completely into obscurity, became completely inactive fighting once a year against subpar competition. And yeah, he just went completely into obscurity and he had nothing to offer anymore. And it seemed as if his fans basically abandoned him. And he abandoned all senses, if you know what I mean. Like, every interview you hear with the guy, he was just, he just came across as a delusional idiot. And he came across as extremely bitter too. And like I was saying earlier in the video, that's what happens when you mismanage a fighter. You know, when you're managing a fighter, you have to make sure that not only are they matched well, you know, you, you gradually increase their opposition, but you also have to make sure that they keep their head above their above their shoulders, basically, that they don't get this, this massive ego that these fighters get. Like, these guys get such a big ego, they have such a high opinion of themselves, that when it comes time to step up against quality competition, and then they lose, it's like they can't handle the loss mentally, you know, it's like their ego is, it takes such a, such a hit that they just can't deal with it, if you know what I mean. And I think that's kind of what happened to Gary Russell, man. I just think that the guy's been a complete waste of talent. Um, and after, after this uh, loss to Maya Gasso, he, he's claiming he won the fight. He's claiming that he would beat the guy. Like, again, the same shit he's saying after the Loma fight, saying he'd easily beat him in a rematch. And it was just a, an off night, but he should have got the decision because he he beat that boy and it's just you listen to his interviews and you, you you think to yourself is he trying to convince us or is he trying to convince himself that's what it comes across as like the guy's ego won't let him accept defeat and it's really sad when you see a, a once talented prospect reduced to this type of really sad bitter mindset that he seems to have so yeah, he lost the fight. It, look, it was a competitive fight, but all you got to do is count the punches. You know, count the clean, effective punches. They, they all came from the opponent. So, yeah, Gary Russell, there was a lot, of, a lot of hype for him in the beginning. And he did go on to become champion. But sometimes it, it's, it's just so disappointing when you see what a fighter could have become. And then you see them reduced to this. It's just, it's quite sad, to be honest. But either way, I just thought I'd make a video about it because... It was it was it was an interesting interesting fight I thought and an interesting development and going into it like I said there was a lot of uncertainty wasn't there because you just didn't know whether or not the inactivity or the hand injuries or whatever were going to catch up with Gary Russell you know when you're when you're a champion and you don't defend your title regularly you just fight once a year and you don't really fight world class competition there comes a time when a guy like this opponent that he just fought last night is going to come along. A guy who's maybe not a world-class fighter, but somebody who's battle-hardened, battle-tested, and who's going to go in there and is going to put the pressure on you. There comes a time when a fight like that can be your downfall because you're just not prepared. You haven't had the you have you haven't had the preparation in terms of keeping yourself active against good quality competition. You know, going the distance against tough guys, durable guys, and really, really sharpening and honing your skills and your reflexes. Gary Russell just didn't do that to me. So that's pretty much all I've got to say. A, a disappointing um, career, disappointing way that his career has panned out. And he just becomes another one of these wasted talents in boxing. So yeah, that's that's pretty much all I've got to say. Will Gary Russell retire after this? Will he get a rematch? I think they're probably going to look for the rematch because, I mean, let's be honest, it's a, it's a winnable fight. I think if Gary Russell does get himself in, in proper condition, make the weight comfortably, uh, make sure there's no ring rust or injuries, and actually take the fight seriously, do some proper sparring and proper preparation, he could potentially beat this guy. I, I definitely think it's a, a winnable fight for him, but... I just, I don't see him beating any of the other champions or any of the top contenders in that division. I really don't. And I mean, I even heard him I, I, about an hour ago, I was listening to an interview and he said he still wants to fight Lomachenko again. Um, yeah, that's not happening. Okay, there, there's no, 
there's absolutely no reason for that to happen. Okay, Real, no reason whatsoever. So that's pretty much all I've got to say. Um, let me know what you guys think. Stay tuned for more videos. I'm going to have another retrospective video, hopefully, hopefully ready this week. I've just got a few things to to sort out on it first, so stay tuned for that. Uh, let me know what you guys think anyway. Thanks for watching and God bless.